Hey, what's going on? So after doing, what, two live videos, I've decided that uh, I'm not very good at doing live videos very regularly, but that's okay. So I'm out here actually in Addison, and we're going to walk through a flip that we're picking up. This is a great house. Addison, if anyone knows Dallas, is a hot neighborhood. It's a... Uh, uh, there, look at that. Isn't that cool? Anyway, super hot neighborhood. Stuff here moves quickly. Um, flips don't come up here very often either. Once in a while you see them, but not very often. And this house needs, you know, needs a lot of updating on the inside, but overall it's pretty sound, pretty structurally, like just a decent little house. So let's, uh, let's turn this thing around real quick. We're out here in the backyard first. So first thing is how often do you see a pool that's that cool? Hey, yo, what's going on, man? Mark, good to see you. How are you guys doing? Anyway, how often do you see a pool that looks that good? Now, obviously, let's talk about the bad. Because that's what's fun about this. A couple bad tiles up here, and we'll probably have to paint it with an epoxy. Pretty easy though. You get that done for a great price. The uh, the noise is the pool pump is still turning, but the pump is uh, eh, it needs some work. Oh, this is so this isn't too bad actually. We got this around here, and we got this in a little back patio over on the left. Um, it's a plywood siding with one by four trim. So cleans up pretty decent. There's Sarah. She's actually seeing this place for the first time. She'll talk about she'll talk about the kitchen and some of the inside stuff. So one thing that was a huge turn on for me with this house. It's kind of creepy because you get turned on about houses, I guess, in this business, right? Anyway, this huge vaulted ceiling up in the living room. This nice fireplace. Let's see if this thing here. If that cow comes with the house, gonna have to move that to the garage or the uh, or the den over at my place. So the goal here, let's walk over here, turn it around again. Structurally, well, starting with the floor. For some reason, I always like starting with floors. Uh, salt heel tile. It's a little uh, a little dated. So we're gonna knock all this out. It's a lot of weight, but it happens. Um, haul it off. Put in hand scraped hardwood. Probably do a engineered hardwood. Might do a surround in the fireplace. Might not. I haven't decided. And then, for some reason, our base trip's already demoed, so, you know, that saves us some trouble, doesn't it? But everyone knows kitchens sell houses better than living rooms do. So, kitchen's through here. It's actually a pretty functional space, as soon as we make it functional. Um, open up this wall, probably from here over to about here-ish, somewhere in there. Um, give us a nice open space. And I'm going to let Sarah do a little talking. What do you think, Beth? Uh, no, like you were saying, just open up the kitchen wall there, give it a nice, better, more functional flow. Move the fridge to the other side just to keep nice movement going. Plus, it'll make it a better space for entertaining. What's going on, John? Oh, hey, John. Um, Why aren't you and Julio over here? They're probably at La Ventana. Oh, you guys are at La Ventana already? Dude, save me a taco. Anyway, so moving the fridge over here, box it in with a nice fridge cabinet. We're probably going to keep the original cabinets just because they are in pretty good condition. Uh, put some new knobs in there, a nice pan, a nice white, um, very popular in the area, and of course put some nice white granite down as well. Uh, new light fixtures throughout, obviously, and then um, put a nicer recessed light fixture up there, just to kind of keep keep everything kind of nice, open, and bright. The kitchen does have some great windows to it. Um, the windows over here do actually open up onto the, you want to show them that? Yeah. Do open up onto the pool deck. How cool is that? And the sliders actually do function as kind of a bar pass-through area. So it is really built for entertaining. Yeah, so the cool thing about really there, we can maybe continue the granite from the kitchen and the sink area. Like kind of this granite in this area. We can maybe continue that out, up, there we go, outside in the windows of the little wraparound bar that you might have seen out there. So that's really cool. And I think Sarah's right. I think we're going to do pretty much that. We'll probably figure out the final layout. Um, once we start demo, because you know stuff starts to move around, you kind of, kind of, you don't exactly work on the fly, but you kind of figure out the final like everything as you're going. Hey, babe, you wanna you wanna give them a tour of the master? Because this is a this is an Addison Addison special or North Dallas special on this master. Yeah, watch your stuff. Yeah, no kidding. On this master uh, kind of bedroom bathroom combo. It's master suite. But we'll fix it. So we got a great thing, more huge vaulted ceiling. Looks like it's about 15 feet. 
Um, we'll put in carpet here, so we'll demo the tile and put in new base trim, obviously. The uh, mirror doors, not exactly in anymore. So we'll uh, put some sliding, some white six panel doors or something like that. Yours truly, what's going on? Sorry, I just had a phone call come in. Um, babe, why don't you take a walk through the master bathroom and see what you're thinking? Okay, the bathroom is, it has a lot of great natural light, um, but it does have some odd um, characteristics. Um, it has a step down tub that um, kind of has like a Roman bath feel to it, which is great for the time, but needs to be updated. Uh, it has a wraparound area, so the bathroom is almost like a terrarium. Um, which is great if you're into that. I don't think it's really going to fit with the market. But we're going to go ahead and push the shower back, fill in the space for the tub, and actually put um, just a nice soaking tub in here. Uh, it'll be a great feature. It sells really well. And it'll just kind of up, uh, update and kind of upmarket the bathroom itself. Uh, remove the existing double vanity, put in a new freestanding one. So you don't think that tile's in? The mosaic? The salt seal or the mosaic? The mosaic, well, any of it, but. No. <laughs> All right. No. Trying to save money here. Uh, remove the older mirrors, obviously. Um, put in two framed mirrors. It looks nice. It's, it's just a nice overall look to it. And obviously, different tile in here. Um, the tile will probably start about there where the actual bathroom area starts, and the rest will just be carpet. And yeah, but other than that, it has a lot of great space, a lot of really, really good natural light, um, which if you are a makeup wearer, like myself, um, you really appreciate, it, especially in the mornings. Cool. All right. That's our master. And let's see, the rest of the house is actually pretty conventional. Um, we have a dining room and bedroom combo here. See that? That opens up into the front entryway by the front door. We'll probably close in that part of it and just make it a full-on bedroom. And then garage is at the end of the hall through here. Hold on, let's see if this is still here. I can see a let's see. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's dark. Do you need a flashlight? Yeah, you got a flashlight? I have my phone. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to see if the car is still in there. And then third bedroom through here. Pretty much the same. See some of the demos done. No, uh, no carpet, no base trim, so that's cool. And then our last bathroom is through here. Yeah. Sweet. Hold on. So last bathroom through here. We'll do pretty much the same thing as the master. In here, we'll probably salvage the cabinets, put down new granite. May or may not split the plumbing. Haven't decided. We'll demo that cabinet. Demo the fur down. And then this tub. <laughs> I'm going to debate about whether or not I want to swap it around because it'll open it up a lot if we put the tub valve on that side. But yeah. we're going to see. We're not doing that. Eh, okay. Well, Sarah says we're not doing that, so maybe we won't do that. We'll take a look at the market. And then, let's see if Sarah's got a flashlight that'll work. Come on, down a little bit, down a little bit. Can you No, you can't see it. All right. Well, I posted a picture of that place a while ago. There's a uh, old 80s, 80s, 70s, 80s, I don't know, rolls hanging out in here. I'm not doing that. Hopefully it's hopefully it's gone when we get the place. If it's not gone, I'm posting that all over the internet to sell because I don't want it. So anyway, um, a lot of folks in Dallas, a lot of new investors say there aren't deals out there. This actually came from a referral, a good friend of mine. We're going to be partnering with him on the deal. So you know you get deals kind of anywhere you look. Not anywhere you look, but I mean if you're out there in the market looking for things, um, you know in the market for properties, whatever, you just get known and you have stuff like this that makes a lot of sense. So oh, hopefully, I think we're set to close June, uh, early June, something like that. So good house, great neighborhood. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun in here. We thought about wholesaling it, but it's maybe 10 minutes from my house. So we're going to renovate it anyhow. I can come by and have some tacos with my buddy John up there and check on the work. So definitely some updates when we close on this thing, when we start demo, when we get going, keeps life interesting. So thanks for taking a look, appreciate it.